So I've been doing a lot of work on senior rate floating notes. Uh, we have a lot of money in this and want to explain because the more I get to know this, the I think the greater the opportunity for buying into this is. Um, but here is a chart going back um, over a period of time showing drawdowns and what happened afterwards. So you had the dot-com bust and you know, the price, the average price dropped to 86.9. And then 12 months later, you can see the return. Let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger. During the liquidity crisis, it dropped to incredibly low numbers. Um, this was a direct assault on this industry and it went up 51%. And remember, these are your double B, single B rated bonds. And that's really where the sweet spot has been in the bond market for about two or three years. And you can see here, um, you know, during the 2011 Treasury downgrade um, and so on. And, and this is where we went down to. We were down an average price of around 83.43. So most of that doesn't make any sense to you, but it is now up to about 87. Uh, I've been speaking to a gentleman over at Eaton Vance, and, and this is about the industry. It's not just Eaton Vance. Uh, he's been terrific, by the way, uh, CFA, and he's helped me a lot in terms of putting what has happened in perspective. But the average uh, senior rate floating note right now, the, and you should look at these different sectors, and, and obviously where there's a lot of people watching this that are invested in it, but you'll see our selling at very, very steep discounts. So the price that they're selling at is about 20% on average below what it's worth. Money just hasn't flowed back into these yet. And I've been really nailing, you know, trying to nail down people at BlackRock and Eden Vance and Nuveen and other sponsors of these. And the, the simple answer is money is flowing into the big cap names, big pharma, big tech. But at some point, and they're starting now to see some institutional interest in these you're starting to see people interested in this sector so right now you'd be able to pick up somewhere around nine to twelve percent income and they're selling at 15 to 25 percent discounts to what they're worth wanted to share this with you let you know that this is what has happened in the past to the sector um, this is much steeper than what happened here with the trade war uh, 2018 what happened in 2016 you know, the liquidity crisis was much more dramatic to this, but you can see that these things do bounce back. And the average time period on these is about one and a half to three years in maturity and their duration is month by month, uh, just on average about every three months. Uh, this is an excellent place to look right now to be putting some money. And for those of you who own this, and I'm sending this to you, you know, you know, to really highlight this, uh, I don't have a fear about this. It's just it's going to take a little bit of time to get money to flow into them. And we have a list of, you know, the ones that you're in. And for people watching this who aren't in them, uh, we have a list of ones that you might take a look at. But definitely take a look at this. But I wanted to share this with you. Let me get one other chart up here. Uh, this was written by uh, two people that run this for Eden Vance. And again, senior rate floating notes, regardless of it's BlackRock or Invesco or Aberdeen or Apollo, uh, BlackRock and so on. This is, uh, although these people work for Eden Vance, they're speaking for the industry. And it says here we see upside, um, but not in a straight line. And I'll uh, attach this, which I already done, to what you have received. But things are moving up nicely. Uh, they've gone from their lows, and um, I believe, you know, nobody in our industry can say this will happen for sure, but I'm very, very comfortable these are going to recover. I'll continue to do my, my hard work and in, in keeping you informed on this and keeping myself informed. Uh, they're not easy to understand, uh, but I do understand them pretty well, and I do believe we're in a good place right now.